Hello guys, this is Max again. Welcome back to my channel. It's too cold outside in London, so I'll be here in my garage talking to you about my first thoughts on the new bike I've got. So please welcome Husqvarna Svartpilen 125. I got this bike recently and I've only ridden it for a couple of times so I'll be sharing my first initial thoughts and I'll be comparing it with my previous bike I owned which is Honda Gram 2022 version. And let's start with the basics, obvious things, the look well, in my opinion, 100 gram in stock looks a little bit boring. This is a platform for customization, and I actually changed and I actually changed a lot to my bike. You can watch the video about it. Without it, uh, 100 gram looks, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> it doesn't catch your eye. Husqvarna, on the other hand, is a completely different story. Well, I think the bike looks amazing without any customization at all. Well, maybe a few things, and uh, there will be more videos on this topic, but uh, out of from the factory, the bike looks amazing, stunning. Another obvious difference between the bikes is the seat height. While it's very low uh, on 100 gram and you can put both of your feet flat down, it's not that easy on a square and you can only put one foot. This is actually uh, might be a little bit disturbing for the new riders such as myself. So uh, when I was choosing between these two bikes to be my first bike, I went for 100 gram for this particular reason. 100 gram is 76 centimeters, while Husqvarna is about 84 centimeters. So it is a big difference. But this is actually something very easy to get to. So if you are a new rider like me, well, don't be afraid too much. I think you can get used to it in a number of days, really. Well, another obvious difference is the weight of the bike. While Honda is very light, it's about 100 kilos. It's so easy to push it around and you can actually lift it. While Husqvarna is a much bigger bike, is a much more serious bike. And actually this is the reason why I changed Honda for Husqvarna because I'm practicing for my full license and I wanted to practice on a bike that will be closer to the one that I will be riding during the exam, which is uh, Yamaha MT-07. The next thing you start to notice immediately when you switch from Honda to Husqvarna is this little guy. This is just so not easy to operate. I know it's difficult to find it, it's difficult to pull it out. It's just, you know, it, it is very, very annoying. And on Honda, it was just, you know, just a side stand. You, you don't really think about your side stand. That's how your st side stand should be. Well, this is how it should be. When I first got Husqvarna, I didn't like how the rack on the tank uh, looked like. So I decided to remove it and it wasn't easy because unlike Honda, the build quality uh, is not at 100%, okay, I, I don't say it's bad, but maybe it's 98% of, of Honda. And for example, all these plastic panels are not really well aligned. You can see some gaps. And uh, it was obvious when I was uh, removing the uh, rack, these bolts are not really putting things into place. It's very difficult to screw them. They go uh, at an angle, so they actually damage the thread. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I thought it was a one minute job, but it was actually a half an hour job just to keep all these things aligned. And on Honda, everything just clicks in together. So simple. You only have these screws and uh, very easy to remove the plastic when you need to put it back. It just clicks in. Everything is well aligned and I'm very, very happy about the build quality of Honda. Uh, the next thing is acceleration. Well, maybe this is down to the modification I did to the Grom. I did change uh, sprockets. Well, it is. It is down to these modifications, but it feels that even with, uh, with the stock uh, gears, Honda Grom pulls from the red line uh, much better. I think it accelerates uh, much faster. Well, maybe also it's because it's a lighter bike. Okay, not maybe, it's definitely because it's a lighter bike and because of the gears, 
but it pulls from red light much quicker. Husqvarna, on another hand, is less aggressive, but we are going to change that. I already ordered a new uh, front sprocket, smaller. I wasn't able to find sprocket specifically for Husqvarna, so I figured that actually this bike and KTM Duke 125 are the same bikes. So I ordered the front sprocket for KTM and uh, I'm going to try my luck and uh, install that one. We'll talk about that in one of the future videos. I don't think I will touch the rear sprocket on Husqvarna. Well, at least I don't uh, want to begin with, uh, but we'll see if the front sprocket is not enough. I'll definitely upgrade the rear one because I want a better acceleration and I don't really care about the top speed because one to five is not about the top speed, right? Uh, it's more about riding in the city and you need acceleration in the city and also my weight. Uh, I'm quite a heavy guy and the bike just doesn't reach uh, uh, the top speed because of my weight. So reducing gears will actually help it to gain more speed. So more acceleration and more speed. And the last thing that I want to mention is the stability of this bike. It is just much more a stable bike thanks to its bigger wheels, bigger size, heavier weight. It is much more stable when you ride uh, in the city or on the highway, riding over potholes or something. I know on the road, uh, this feels proper. I don't know how to explain, it just feels proper. Well, all in all, as you can tell, I'm very excited about my new bike and uh, I'm going to ride it tomorrow despite whatever weather. I meet with my friend, he rides on mud, uh, you know, this motorcycle called mud. So I will try to shoot some videos for you guys. Uh, stay tuned, see you later.